This is King Tedros, Big Thirsty, the Dubologist. This is your host for today's festivity inside the Wino Valley. I am Big Thirsty. And right now we do what we're doing is we're tuning up some drums, you know, giving a little sound check. And um, it was just a, you know, a unique time, you know, let you guys in on this. It's a, it's, this is week number seven, and um, you know, we've been getting some positive response from you guys. We really like to thank you. You know, um, call on in, get on the air, be a part of this. Um, you know, start bitching and start a revolution. I think I can say. But anyway, I'm opening up another section of Inside the Wino Alley. Right now, we're tuning up the drums. I can't tell you. Back there on the drums, but we're tuning up. We're tuning up the drums because the drums is the foundation of the music. Singers and players of instruments all give it up to the drummer man. Anyway, we Inside the Wino Alley. Now, what's going on? Where you at? What's popping? Perpetual, perpetual consumers, useless eaters, huh? Okay, so, so what's going on? Well, what, what, what else is going on, man? What Rick Hard them got going, man? Oh, them trying to wake up people, man. And they trying to get them. Let them know, realize it. California's name, even the name California's his name about your black woman, Rick Lee. Rico Boulevard. That's a black man. A black man settled in L.A. First time in California, Hollywood, California. It's all your shit. You got to wake up and get it. They sleeping, man. They come. Actually, California, Hollywood, California, Los Angeles, actually the biggest plantation in the world. Huh. Really, you got 100,000 homeless people in a four-block radius, man. You hear me? 100,000, 200,000. They say it's up to 500,000. I just counted 100,000 got tired. I was ready to come home. 100,000 people I counted homeless in California, the richest country richest city in the richest state in the country. You got all these homeless people. What the fuck is going on? Uh-huh. Everybody, I love Obama too, but what's your agenda? Yeah, I saw the tents on the sidewalk when I was out there. Inspired me to want to do a song called Tents on the Sidewalk. Yo, we getting some bad reception right here. I got Poncho uh, live inside the Wino Alley via FaceTime, um, you know, the microwaves and the e- ELFs or whatever, low to low frequencies is, is not letting us collect. So we're going to sign him out. Peace, brother Zo. Really live. Get out with me, 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 take her, I know. Elizabeth, 
the sale effect that you got money if you really got money. If you got money, you don't want people to know it. But you don't you, want people to know it. That's the yeah. whole thing. Yeah, that's how old money is, yo. Yeah, so, but if you don't ain't got no money and want people to think you got money, then you got to wear shit you got to, that's going to cost you money to keep up the illusion of I got exactly. money. Exactly. You know exactly. The illusion, yo. You got rims and big cars and stuff, you know. Be ready for war, smoke the guns out the door. Ganja Waya! Ganja Waya! Ganja Waya! Once again, this is Big Thirst, Big Brother, Big Thirsty, signing out the Wino Alley. Southern University sometime in the 90s, and they said, hey, the Dove Assassinators are here. And, they would, and the white people in the audience was like, are they going to kill us? You know, so when they hear the word assassinator, it's like a pit bull, you get a negative connotation. But what, but what we're assassinating is the dub. What we're saying is that we are killing the music. And that's the way a lot of people talk now. As if you're killing it, you're killing it. That's the way that people talk. Well, we've been doing this for over 20 years as the dub assassinators. The original dub assassinators is Simeon. Drummy Blaze and myself, we were an offshoot of Conscious Dub in the, the voices, voices, which was the whole band um, consisted of No Yah, uh, Hobby Mana, Jawara I. So when we was break off and didn't have the whole band, the, the foundation of the band, which is the drum and the bass, the rhythm section would click together and we would do, you know, melodies and music as the dub assassinators. So that's what a dub assassinator.